Why are you not seeing the results you want at the gym? Behind me, I've got three big keys that are gonna help you get the results that you want. Let's get started. Welcome back guys, Matt Blank here. So we're gonna go over three things to improve your program design. So if you're not seeing the results you want or wonder why you keep getting injured, these three things should really help you out a lot. The first one, multi-joint exercises. You guys know these as your compound lift. These are the biggest bang for your buck exercises. We've got the bench press, the squat, and the deadlift. Those are the three big exercises that are really gonna help you guys stay safe. The body doesn't work in isolation. Think about a leg extension, for example. At what point am I just isolating my VMO or my vastus medialis oblique? If I'm doing a jump squat or playing a sport, my body never just uses one muscle. We use all of them together. So same way in the gym, we wanna train how we play, multi-joint. Moving on to the next one, let's think again. Train how we play. Besides the sport of like sprinting and running a 100 meter dash, when am I just going in a straight line? If I'm playing basketball, football, lacrosse, even swimming, I'm gonna have to move multiple different ways. So we have three different planes that our body moves through. We've got the frontal plane, the sagittal plane, and the transverse plane. We don't need to dive into the science behind these things, but guys, what you need to know is that we need to be training forward, side to side, and rotational. So example of that could be a forward lunge, a reverse lunge, lateral lunge, rotational med ball throws, med ball slams. You guys get the idea. Basically, we wanna cover all planes of motion. So we wanna cover what's in front of us, what's behind us, and what's on the side of us. The last one, it's probably the most important one in my opinion. Ah, they're all very important, but we're gonna stick with ground-based. So, machines. These are the enemies, guys. I see way too many people just sitting again, like on the leg extension machine, or sitting on a row machine. Guys, those are all good, but we wanna learn how to use our feet. We're all athletes or wanna train like athletes. I don't care if you're a house mom, if you play video games, at some point we're gonna have to be in an athletic situation and our bodies are gonna have to respond. So, ground-based movement. What does that mean? Start from the floor up. Let's take the sport of basketball. If I'm going up for a rebound and I'm sitting doing leg extensions, my foot's not attached to anything on the leg extension. So I have to train from the ground to perform at my best ability. So picture a squat. The bar's on my back, I'm going down, the only way I'm getting back up is if I'm pushing through the ground. And so that's called force production. So we wanna learn how to produce force from the ground. So that can be anything too. Think about a barbell bent over row. If I'm bent over, I have to use my feet, get a good solid base, my core's engaged, and I'm rowing. And again, let's take that bent over row. It's ground based, and it also covers this rule here, multi-joint. I want that covers all three, Let's take the reverse lunge. It's multi-joint, it's multi-planar, and it starts from the ground. So guys, you guys wanna find exercises like that that covers all three of these things, and what this is gonna do is gonna help reduce your uh, risk to get hurt, and it's gonna improve your performance. Guys, I appreciate you listening. If there's anything, any questions you have, just leave a comment, and I'm gonna get back, and we're gonna try to keep up this program design talk.